Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. So, we all know that the human anatomy has been one of those things that have plagued artists for one of the longest time. We've all dealt with incorrect anatomy of body parts, wrong muscle formations, all the way down to misinterpreting what the joints of the body are. And this is just one of those things that not only artists but medical students also struggle with. In most cases, you like to find references of human anatomy online and this might not be the most comprehensive one. And today, we are looking at something that might just solve all of that problem. Best part, this is totally free and as well, it is also available for your mobile devices. And what we're looking at today is the Z Anatomy. And unlike what most people will consider as a brand new tool, Z Anatomy has been around for a while and it has been progressively updated since its very first review in 2019. Now there is a significant update that has been done to this to make it available in a custom version of Blender and as well making it available for Android device users. And today we're going to dive deep into this tool and see how you can work with it, what on what you need to know and how this tool can help improve your knowledge of anatomy. And right here is where everything leaves. Now for those who like to play with this, it is quite interesting to see that if you go over to the Atlas section, that this brings you right over to where you can download the Blender file. Now we're going to talk about the Blender file later and of course there is also versions for Android and also iOS coming pretty soon. Now for those who like to work with this, there are two ways to work with it. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a Blender version which is essentially a build of Blender that converts Blender into a viewer. And it's very interesting to see that these folks have actually made this available. Now for those who like to work with the app that is built on the browser, if you come right here, you would notice that we have every single thing that makes the human body from the skeletal system to the joints to the muscle system down to the regions of the human body the reference lines the cardiovascular system and also the muscular system so if you choose to turn on any of this so for example if we turn this on and we move forward you get to see that and of course if you would like to see maybe the visceral system you can turn that on and you push and of course you can see all of these as well now for those who are thinking about searching for specific parts of the body you can of course go ahead and search for these specific parts of the body. So let's say for example we're looking for the heart. So if we type in the word heart, it shows us all of the necessary things that deals with the word heart. So if you're an artist that also creates content that requires getting to those intricate parts of the human body, then you'll find this one very useful. So for example if we say we're looking for the arteries of the heart and we click on that, you see it zooms right in there. So let's just take a look at some of this. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off so that we can see that. And I think we should also turn this off and move forward. And you can see that we have the arteries of the heart right here. There's also a couple of other tools that are available right here, which you can play with. And if you like to expand this and preview this however you want, of course you can. So just tap the escape key to come all the way out. And if we use the left mouse button, we can pan and the right mouse button, we can now preview this and look at it in 3D. So you can also zoom in and zoom out and that is also great. But the greater part of this particular theme is actually working with it in Blender. So if you go over to this very same page and you download this for Blender, what happens is this downloads a zip file. Now the zip file that this downloads is a Blender file which you have to extract. Once you extract it, you'd notice that it is a build of Blender 3.1. And once you go ahead and open up the Blender executable file, this opens up the Z Anatomy custom build of Blender. So with this, you can do literally everything you can do in Blender 3.1, but this has been built just for this particular tool. If you like to preview several parts of this human anatomy, if you tap one, for example, it shows you the skeleton. You tap two, for example, it simply switches to the muscular insertions, which is a, a very, very interesting name. You tap three on the keyboard, it switches to the joints and you can literally see some of the joints right here. You switch to four, you see the muscular systems, you switch over to five, you get to see the cardiovascular system, you tap six on the keyboard and you can see the lymphoid organ and then you can see the nervous system as well. Once you tap the seven key and eight simply switches to the visceral system and you can also see that all of these are properly labeled. So just in case, you know, you are into studying how this works, this is something that is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take the ninth look and of course you can see we have the full-on model. Now this isn't the only thing as well that you have with this. 
It is also worth mentioning that if you tap N on the keyboard, there is a Z Anatomy add-on that comes pre-built with this particular build of Blender. So if we go ahead and press any of this key, you notice that it zooms right to that particular section of the model. So for example, let's say we simply jump over to the muscular system by tapping 4 on the keyboard, you can see what the representation of the human head would look like once you're looking at the muscles on the head. It even makes more sense if you choose to switch this over to Eevee. So if we switch over to Eevee, in this case, you can see what this looks like when rendered. And if you tap Z on the keyboard, you can switch back and forth between solid and also the rendered version. It's also worth knowing that to any part that you select, you can see the name here. So you can simply select this muscle and you can see what the name looks like. Let's go ahead and open up the visceral system. And if we open up this particular collection, because all of these things are stored in collection, you can also see that we're having some compilation going on right there. And you can see the names. This is just wild. Like, look at all of this labeling going in and out. So let's just go in and look at this stuff. So we can select a given part, tap G to move that part out. And you can see what it looks like. I mean, you can tell what the muscle looks like. And this is perfect for referencing. I believe lots of artists would like this, especially if you would like to reference for a sculpt. And it's also quite interesting to see that you can also learn about this thing. I think this isn't totally targeted for artists. It's mostly targeted for the people doing medicine and studying full-on body anatomy as a job. As it's not only for artists, this is extremely comprehensive. So we can see what this is. So this is called the apex of nodes. That is, that is a, that's a good information to know. This is the root of your nose. Is that, is that it? And what, what is this part called? This is ala of nose. Okay, that is also, it's, it's a worthy information to have. I never knew this. Uh, I never knew a couple of these things. And you can open up several parts. Let's go in and hide this regions of human body. You know, this part is more interesting. So we can see this. I guess this is, uh, what is this part called? It's called soft palat. Cool. This is where, okay, nice nose trees. Something else that I think I should have also mentioned to you guys is this. That you know how we have all of this part here, like the key color, you know, the cross section, which is also something that is very useful. These things are very, very useful for detailing and at the same time for visual comprehension. So now that we turned on the key color, you can see we have more visual uh, feedback of what certain parts look like, you know, sort of distinguishing what certain parts are. So if I turn this off, you can see everywhere it just goes all the way to that brownish red. But if we turn this on, you can tell what muscle is doing what and where, looking nice. We can also go over to the labeling and click on enable group labels. And this would enable group labels. And this is even way more better, right? So we know that this is the mouth and we can also go in and in and see what and what makes up the mouth. This is also some very cool stuff. Is this where the salivary glands are? That's good. So there's just a lot of, a lot of learning to be done. And I think I'll spend so much time looking at this than, you know, playing with it. I'll spend more time looking at these things, trying to understand several parts as they now make more sense especially when you look at how they sort of intertwine with the whole body. If you also go over to the cross section, there is a cross section that is available right here. So let's go ahead and turn on the cross section from the outliner. So you just have to click that to turn that on. And how you can do your cross sections are pretty simple. You notice right here, we have the cross section, we have the planes, and you can also see all the layers. So say for example, we'd like to cut this from the side or maybe from the back, all right? And you might want to select any of the given axes. So in this case, we're just going to go with Y. We would like to cut the visceral part. And if I go ahead and I select this, and I would like to do a cross section, and I would not want to affect the visceral parts, we can avoid that. And, you know, we can do the cross section and see this section. Okay. So if we go ahead and tap G and move it all the way back, we can get that there. We can also select these are the section. And of course, uh, let's turn this off from here. Tap G on the keyboard, move these all the way towards that angle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap, that should be X. Okay, so we tap X on the keyboard. 
and you can see that as well. So depending on what you would want to do, you can go ahead and, you know, turn on these things and turn them off. Depending on what you want to do, actually, you can use this and start learning how the body anatomy actually works. I'm in all of these particular stuff. And to, to think about it, that this is for free, is just one of those things that makes you wonder how come. So it is very, very cool. And I am extremely, extremely in awe of this. It's also worth mentioning that if you switch to the hand, say for example, this is the, the hand, this is more like the shot of the hand. If you want to make a change to this, you can make a change and let's say you zoom all the way out. And if you click on this button, you sort of save this shot. So if we go over to the elbow and go back to the hand, you see it saves that shot. So if you also go over to this hand, make sure you click it and then you obey to a point like so. And then when you do that, you click on this button, you save this position. So if you go over to the head, go over to the neck, come back to the hand, you see you save that shot. So this is also something that you can tweak to your liking depending on what you want to do and depending on how you like to work with these references. It is very interesting to also know that right here, there is also a couple of navigation features that is very interesting. So say for example, you're looking at how you can play with the colors or maybe the layers or the selection, the display, all of these beautiful things are available for you. Something else which is very interesting to also note is for those who wouldn't want to work with the Blender build, probably you want to reference this in your project, of course you can. So if you open up the anatomy folder that you downloaded earlier, if you scroll all the way down, you would notice that we have the Z anatomy blend file. Now this comes with a Python script, which is something that you probably need to allow. So in this case, once you drag and drop that in, you can click on allow execution. And that way you will be able to use the same Python script that was used to build the custom build of Blender directly in your project. So if you also want to take pictures of certain parts, you can click on this button and this would actually take you to where you can start taking photos of several parts. So if you simply tap zero on the keyboard, it zooms over to that part. And you can also notice that right here, there are a couple of shortcuts and guides to help you work with this tool even better. And for those who like to use these on their Android device, because you know, shout out to Android users right now, this is currently available for Android. Yes, you can. So if you go over to Z Anatomy, on your Android device, you can simply go over to the Atlas section and you'll be able to download this app for your Android device. And this is very lovely because you can now study your anatomy on the go. And depending on the Android device you're working with, this simply just works. So if you would like to, you know, orbit around the model, that is perfect. If you also like to search for stuff, yes, you can. And of course, if you would like to isolate several parts, say for example, we are looking at the pelvis, you can use the selection tool that you have right here and you can select the pelvis. Let's go ahead, select that. And I can click on this particular button here and we can isolate that. And of course you can see all the detailings that you need to know. Like there's a whole lot of, you know, information here that you probably wouldn't find in certain test books or just find once you just soften the internet, you would find these things on this app and it is quite interesting. So I can select on this other part as well, and we can click on the isolate button and you can see so much details. Something else which you might probably have noticed as well is to any joint or bone or section that you select, you would notice that it selects the name right over on the top right there. So for example, let's say we go ahead and select this joint. You can see it tells you the name, which is a femoral. We can also select this other one. It tells you it's a tibial. So we can also go ahead and uh, let's zoom right in, right up to this point and select that as well, the scapula. And I think this is the clavicle as well. We have all these big joints. So all of this rib cage, you know, by default you just call all of these rib cages, but you can now see what their individual names are. And this is brilliant. And just like you could do with the desktop, Right here, you can select several parts as well. So you like to turn on some parts and view these things. Yes, you can. You can do all of this. And depending on your use case of body anatomy, this is right here for you to take a look at and take full advantage of. The licensing for this particular tool is CC0, which means that you can use this for whatever you want. As the licensing supports 
a share that deals with copy and distribution of this material, and adapt that also deals with remixing, transforming, building upon this, and even using it commercially. But under the same terms, you also need to give attribution to the creators. It is one thing to also keep in mind that if you're an artist, a graphist, a developer, a librarian, and probably you're thinking about contributing to making this tool even better, you can come over to this page and help make this tool even way better for everyone to work with. And so, if you're an artist or a medical student looking for for an anatomy tool that can give you a 360 view of the human body and well detailed labeling of several parts of the human body from the nerve system all the way to the joint down over to how the heart and also the arteries the fats and also muscles actually look like then you might want to consider taking a look at this as this is undoubtedly a wonderful resource for everyone to have tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.